I have here a 2 by 42 inch small belt grinder made by uh, General International and I recently had to do a mod on it because the original motor, the green motor at the right of the picture blew its start winding and its capacitor. I was going to uh, either replace or repair the motor but then I realized that I had a 2 horsepower DC motor and controller from a treadmill lying around. So as you can see, I've installed the treadmill motor onto the belt grinder as a replacement, and I'm much happier with the result that I've gotten. The treadmill motor has 2 horsepower, the little green original AC motor was rated at a half horsepower, but it's a fairly small looking motor body to have a half horsepower. Got to wonder about that. The treadmill motor is way better with, of course, variable speed, and it also has uh, higher RPMs, so I can spin my belt a lot quicker with this mod. All in all, I'm very happy with how this worked out. It wasn't very hard at all to adapt the uh, treadmill motor onto the grinder. I used a piece of aluminum extrusion and uh, a couple of bolts were all that was required. The uh, wheel for the sander that drives the belt was uh, very close in size to the motor shaft size. I actually just turned down the end of the motor shaft uh, a small amount and the drive wheel slipped right on perfectly, so that was no problem. Went very well. Tracking was no problem with the new motor. Uh, everything tracked perfectly the first time. Belt stays where it's supposed to. So all in all, uh, a most excellent upgrade uh, resulted from uh, the blowing of the original motor. I've got an 80 grit belt on it. Let's uh, start it up and uh, have a look. I took the original electronics from the treadmill and made them up into a neater looking uh, assembly that can sit anywhere on the bench within uh, six feet or so of the motor. And we hit start. There's a bit of a time delay with the treadmill and now we start at minimum speed. Even at low speed, it doesn't bog down while grinding. Power off. I also put a uh, cooling fan on the end of the motor, as you can see here, and a little uh, fan shroud around it to uh, protect my fingers, of course. 
this is working very well. Here's a close-up of the control panel power and start. It's a small time delay and it'll start at minimum speed. And then we can raise or lower the speed. So pause on it, or I can leave the speed set, hit pause, change belt, then uh, hit pause again, and it'll resume at the same uh, speed setting. Pause, power off. I feel that this mod is a big upgrade that's made my little belt grinder a lot more useful and a lot more versatile. Treadmill motors can be very, very useful. Thanks for watching and I hope this uh, little mod was interesting.